And as the valley swelters under this intense heat, data from Maricopa County suggests that just a few degrees can make a big difference when it comes to the number of heat related illnesses. Tonight, 12 News journalist Gabriella Becerra has more on the takeaways from that report. The data shows heat related illnesses are at their highest when the high temperature is 115 degrees or hotter or when the low temperature doesn't fall below 90 degrees. Standing outside on a July day in Arizona, literally <laughs> sweating and dying. It doesn't matter what the temperature is. It's hot. Once it gets to like 105, there's nothing you could do. You got to get to that AC. But new data from the Maricopa County Department of Health shows just five degrees can make a deadly difference. The 2018 to 2022 heat morbidity report says there was a 76% increase in the number of heat related illnesses when the temperature increased from 105 degrees to 110. Once we start seeing them get into the 110s, kind of in the one teens, we definitely start seeing an uptick in the number of people that are presenting with um, with heat related illnesses. Banner emergency room Dr. Monish Bao says he sees patients suffering from heat exhaustion and heat stroke. People who stop sweating and become confused or altered are encouraged to seek medical attention right away. The internal body temperatures get so hot that it starts breaking down your own organs uh, and it can lead to um, ultimately death, but you can also have renal failure, you can have kidney or kidney failure, um, and also a lot of internal organ derangements. Maricopa County reports a total of 14 heat related deaths so far this year. More than 200 cases are still under investigation. The hotter it gets, the more dangerous it becomes. And the summer is far from over. And I feel like I'm like just so dehydrated every time I walk out of the house. Phoenix has already experienced 22 days at 110 degrees or above, according to the National Weather Service. That's more than the average of 21 days per year. Well, it could just hit you out of nowhere. So just stay cool, Arizona. The report says a third of these heat related illnesses start at home. If you need a place to stay cool, we have a list of heat relief sites on our website, 12news.com. Reporting in downtown Phoenix, Gabriella Becerra, 12 News.